It's time for Wasabi Adventures Stables Race Insights, a segment where TK Kugler gives you thoughts and bets on an upcoming race. Get the inside story on training, race placement, and opportunities to bet. Here is TK. If you've homebred a horse, there's nothing more exciting than when you get to that debut. It, it, it's such a long, long journey um, from the time that you bought the brood mare, that you had it covered, that she spends 11 months gestation period on that uh, foal. The foal's born. Now you got a couple more years until the horse actually gets into a race. That's There's a long, a long, long journey and uh, to get to a race. And this week... Uh, we've got one and when what a notion, uh, debuts for us, this is a, uh, two-year-old Philly, um, uh, debuting at Delaware park this week on October 26th in race four. So let's could jump right in, talk about the conditions. As I said, Delaware park race four, six furlongs purses, 24,000 for maidens, Philly's two-year-olds, uh, uh, What's not said in this, because it's a maiden 25 claimer, is, is that if you're Delaware certified, you get to waive the claim. And that's a big deal. We wouldn't be running in this spot if we didn't get to waive the maiden, uh, the claim uh, here. We wouldn't be in for a tag here. We'd be running maiden special weight uh, somewhere. And uh, instead, we get to debut uh, because we cert certified her as a weanling. Um means uh, she spent 90 days on a farm in Delaware to get that certification. So uh, let's talk about the race. So we've got uh, a handful of horses in here that have debuted before. Uh, so about half. So of the eight that are in here, four have run before, four have not. And we, you know, so that's what you get with two-year-olds, right? Especially, you know, this kind of time of year, uh, we're getting near the end of the year. And, uh, you know, a lot of them have debuted, some haven't. So so you've got a mix here. And that's really what you got in this race. So who knows what half these horses are going to do? They've never been, to, including what an ocean here, uh, who's the who's the seven here. A morning line odds of 10 to 1. Um, let's talk about how what an ocean has been training. She's not a horse that lights up uh instantly um and she's taken uh a good bit of time uh to sort of understand aspects of what it means to be a racehorse she has a great deal of talent we believe she's got a great deal of talent but she still hasn't in the morning yet put all of the pieces perfectly together um so this is a good spot for her to debut um there's no uh, there are, are a lot of horses that are regionally bred, and so it's it's a nice spot to to get a horse that needs to debut and and see uh, how things come together for her. I mean, get, just to give you an example on her training, uh, it was it, she wasn't till her last gate work that she just did where she actually understood, hey, come out, I'm going to break straight, I'm going to break fast, uh, and she did it very very well. Um, she's been left at the gate a couple times uh, uh, in morning training. And even as we do simulated, simulated races with two, three, four other of our horses, uh, two-year-olds, so often she has been sort of slow to the gate. She's also kind of one that you have to work in the morning. You got to really, to get her to 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 get a, a full workout in, you got to work her hard in the morning. Jesse Cruz, uh, the trainer, has talked to me quite a bit about that. I've seen it with my own eyes. Um, so this is a horse. So what am I expecting here? Um, I think this is a horse that's going to get better over time. I do not expect this to be a lights out crush it situation. I think it's also a horse that's going to want more distance before all said and done, but the horse has to start somewhere. Every horse has to get on its journey. Once again, that excitement of that debut for a homebred two-year-old is, is going to be great. And uh, this is a horse we're going to show some patience with because we think there's some talent here. This is a horse that's going to win some races for us. Uh, as long as knock on wood, she stays healthy and, um, you know, uh, but we, I, I'm not expecting a big win here. Uh, I'm really not. So uh, I think uh, I think she's going to come out. She's going to learn some stuff. Can she win? Sure. Do I think she will? No. So what am I doing on the betting front? What what should you do with your money? 
Well, you, what you do with your money is your call. What I'm going to do with my money is you're probably going to see a very simple $50 win bet, which on, on for me, for one of our horses on is on the smaller side. And uh, I'll probably do a $10 exacta with her on top and all uh, just in case she hits. She is 10 to one morning line. I don't think she's going to get a ton of support um, here. So, you know, if magic happens and we hit, we're going to get an okay little payday. Um, but uh, I just really want her to have a great experience, learn, and, uh, you know, come back smarter, uh, fresher. Uh, and we'll uh, we'll try it again here, uh, probably down in Florida next. So uh, hopefully that helps uh, you. I hope you tune in because, once again, a debut is a lot of fun.